So we are reading from the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fifteenth chapter, the yoga of the Supreme Person. Text number three and four. <clears throat> so Narupa Masye Hatato Palebyate. Nanto nachadi nacha sampratishtha Ashvatthamenam suvirudamulam Asanga shastre nadrite nachitva Tata padam tat padimargita vyam Yasmin gatat na nivatan tibuya Tameva chadyam purusham prapadye Yata pravriti prasrita purani Na not rupam the form asya of these three Iha in this world Tata also Upalabhyate can be perceived Na never Anta and Na never Cha also Adhi beginning Na never Cha also Sampratishtha, the foundation, Ashvatam, Banyan tree, Enam, this, Suvirudha, strongly, Mulam, rooted, Asanga Shastrena, by the weapon of detachment, Dritena, strong, Chitva, cutting, Tatha, thereafter, Padam, situation, Tat, that, Parimargitavyam, has to be searched out, Yasmin, where, Gata, going, Na, never, Nivartanti, they come back, Buya, again, Tam, to him, Eva, certainly, Cha, also, Adyam, original, Purusham, the personality of Godhead, Prapadye, surrender, Yatha, from whom, Pravriti, the beginning, Prasrita, extended, Purani, very old. <coughs> Translation and purport by His Divine Gay Silesi Bhaktivedanta Sami Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Translation. The real form of this tree cannot be perceived in this world. No one can understand where it ends, where it begins, or where its foundation is. But with determination, one must cut down this strongly rooted tree with a weapon of detachment. <coughs> Thereafter, one must seek the place from which, having gone, one never returns and dare surrender to that Supreme Personality of Godhead from whom everything began and, f and from whom everything has extended since time immemorial. Purport. It is now clearly stated that the real form of this banyan tree cannot be understood in this material world. Since the root is upwards, the extension of the real tree is at the other end. When entangled with the material expansions of the tree, one cannot see how far the tree extends, nor can one see the beginning of this tree. Yet one has to find out the cause. I am the son of my father. 
my father is the son of such and such a person etc by searching in this way one comes to Brahma who is generated by Garabhadakshai Vishnu finally in this way one reaches the supreme personality of Godhead that is the end of research work one has to reach out that origin of these three the supreme personality of Godhead through the association of persons who are in knowledge of that supreme personality of Godhead then by understanding one becomes gradually detached from this false reflection of reality and by knowledge one can cut off the connection and actually become situated in the real tree the word of Sangha is very important in this connection because the attachment for sense enjoyment and loading it over the material nature is very strong therefore one must learn detachment by discussion of spiritual science based on authoritative scriptures and one must hear from persons who are actually knowledge as a result of such discussion in the association of devotees one comes to the supreme personality of Godhead then the first thing one must do is surrender to him the description of that place whence having gone one never returns to this false reflected trees given here the supreme personality of Godhead Krishna is the original root from whom everything has emanated to gain favor of that personality of Godhead one has only to surrender and this is a result of performing devotional service by hearing chanting etc he is the cause of the extension of the material world this has already been explained by the Lord himself I am Sarvasya Prabhu I am the origin of everything therefore to get out of the entanglement of this strong banyan tree of material life one must surrender to Krishna as soon as one surrenders unto Krishna one becomes automatically detached from this material extension Om Ajnanati Milandasya Jnananjana Salakaya Chakasodan Miritam Yanam Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manobhistam Stapitam Yenabhutale Sayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Sabadantigam Bandeham Sri Guru Sri Yudhavada Gamalan Sri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvetam Savadutam Parizana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Sri Vishagan Vidamscha He Krishna Kuruna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagat Pate Gopesha Gopika Ganta Radha Kanta Namastude Tapta Ganchara Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavane Shari Vishavanu Sude Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Banchakalpatrubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyevacha Paditanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adaita Gadadhara Shiva Sari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Here in this chapter, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is explaining about this material world and comparing it to a banyan tree 
and especially here in India, so we can actually see this banyan tree. There are many banyan trees and some of them are huge. And as explained that um, the tree has its roots of course downwards but then also as it is explained here upwards and then it has many branches uh, and branches going out and going down and up so it is very complex uh, therefore so the example is appropriate of course the supreme personality of godhead is perfect and complete whatever he's doing is complete whatever he's saying is complete and perfect and then he's explained the twigs and the leaves <coughs> which are there so the twigs are the objects of the senses and then it is explained <coughs> that uh, the leaves are the Vedic hymns and so one who knows about this tree so he knows about this material world he knows about the Vedas uh, Veda means knowledge and that knowledge is also coming from the Supreme Personality of Godhead here in this verse it is explained that the real form of this tree cannot be perceived in this world nobody knows where it begins where it ends but at the same time it is explained here that one must become free from this entanglement of this tree when I was cut down this tree that means this attachment to this material world with this word of knowledge and uh, but that is not enough because like the Mayavaris are saying that uh, <coughs> we should not engage in any material activity and they are denying anything from this world as false Jagat Mitya so it is false in the material world they say and we should go to the absolute truth um, and they will say that the absolute truth has, not form, has no form but that conception is, is not complete, it is not perfect this material world uh, is not completely false, it has some existence but it is temporary and it is a perverted reflection of the spiritual world so it is explained sometimes as and is explained here also even by Prabhupada so there is an original tree the spiritual world is there and there are the varieties there in the spiritual world and the root of everything is actually the Supreme Personality of Godhead as explained here uh, by Prabhupada that, and as we know and Krishna himself is explaining that I am the source of everything so Krishna is the source of the spiritual world which is the real world the real life is there and the trees are there, many trees are there and these are real uh, and beautiful and eternal fulfilling all desires therefore they are known as Kalpa Vriksha uh, so whatever one desires one can get from these trees and everything in the spirit world is eternal the animals uh, and they are the sarabi cows are there they're giving uh, unlimited milk and it's so beautiful uh, and full of transcendental pleasure such it ananda eternal cognizant and everyone is devoted to the Supreme Personality of God and properly situated in devotional service and therefore by serving Krishna the source of all pleasure they feel immense transcendental pleasure uh, 
And then this material world, so it is the perverted reflection of the spiritual world. So therefore then we can see that uh, the tree is so-called upside down because it is the perverted reflection from the real trees in the, in the spiritual world. Uh, <coughs> and the living entities are here, even human beings are there, so much variety is there in this material world, but it is temporary. And everyone is forgetful of the Lord, except the devotees who are here in this world. Otherwise everyone is forgetful, and therefore they are not experiencing transcendental happiness only a flickering happiness from this material world they can experience which is very temporary which is very shallow just like a fish the fish is happy in the water it can swim it is free but if you put the fish on the on the land or sometimes it comes on the land but then it is flapping on the land it is not in its element in the water so it cannot be happy there and usually it will not survive if it is staying there and not going in the water again. So the living entities in this material world, the embodied living entities who is, who is identifying with this material world can never be happy in this material world because it is not, not the real situation. <coughs> so this material world is very complex and and to completely understand this material world is not possible. Uh, how it is working, how one becomes entangled, why we are suffering, <coughs> what is awaiting us, this we cannot understand. <coughs> Only some limited knowledge is there. And we may act in a certain way to get some result, one may work and then one will get the result and one has some freedom is there but it is very limited and it is not the real life it is illusion actually mm. <clears throat> so therefore Krishna is pointing out this about this material existence and then is uh, is explaining to Arjuna in the next verse uh, that actually everyone is my eternal servant but they are struggling world in, in they are struggling hard in this material world with the mind and the senses but then one has to surrender to the Supreme Lord and then the Supreme Lord Krishna will help one to understand one's real life in connection with the Supreme Lord, the impressionable Lord, the source of everything. And when one is connecting with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then one will be blissful. And the more one is properly situated, the more uh, he will be feeling transcendental happiness. So Krishna is the original spiritual master, Adi Guru, uh, who spoke to Lord Brahma, and here he is speaking to Arjuna, and he has spoken to so many other personalities, himself or through the, his expansions, or in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is most merciful, who has come in this age of Kali to deliver the most fallen conditioned souls. In the age of Kali, everyone is very fallen. Very few persons, human beings are qualified, are very qualified in order to properly even understand the Vedic literatures and to properly apply themselves in spiritual life. But by the causes and mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, even those who are not intelligent, uh, even children, old people, women, invalid persons by taking up this process by being connected to the process to the via media of the spiritual master then they can advance very nicely very quickly so it is very astonishing although one may be very fallen but if one is adopting this process of chanting the maha mantra Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So then one can very quickly uh, advance. So everyone can chant the Mahamatra, it is not difficult. Um, whereas studying the scriptures is not easy, or even properly worshipping the deities is not so easy. Um, 
and chanting all the mantras, even the Gayatri mantras. There are so many rules and regulations for that. Some qualification has to be there in order to be successful. Of course, even while chanting the only names, one has to follow some rules and regulations. And one must have the proper consciousness. And then, one may be able to quickly advance. But even if one is not so intelligent and uh, committing so many mistakes, but simply by adhering to this principle of always chanting the only names, then he can make advancement. And he will be properly situated, eventually. And gradually, gradually, he will be able to advance more and more and come to the perfectional stage of pure devotional service. Mm. Uh, so, mm. Prabhupada is explaining also here that uh, mm. one must learn to become detached uh, from this material world. And is explaining by discussion of spiritual science based on authoritative scriptures. And one must hear from a person who actually uh, has this transcendental knowledge. As Krishna is explaining, Tadvidi paripatane pariprasna sevaya upadekshanti degyanam gyanina statva darshanaha. One has to approach a person who is realized, who has seen the absolute truth who is properly situated, who is a representative of the Supreme Lord. And uh, so then, as Krishna says, that one has to ask questions, then one has to serve in a humble way. And then, one will get transcendental knowledge. And then one will get realization. Uh, just like even Krishna, he spoke to Brahma this transcendental knowledge and he's telling him Gyanam param guyamme I'm giving you this very confidential knowledge and with it yad vijyanam samanvitam the realization will be there tad rahasyam tadangascha sarasyam tadangascha grihana gadadammaya so but it is a secret uh, also so one has to get this knowledge and one has to apply this knowledge in other words, one has to engage in devotional activities. And then one, there will be realization, practical realization. First the knowledge is there, Krishna is God, I am not this body. But the realization is not there. But by engaging in devotional activities, then one can practically see oneself as being different from the material body, gross and subtle. And then one can realize and see the transcendental beautiful form of Krishna, the Satchananda Sarup, Krishna's eternal form, uh, very beautiful form, Tribang Lalit Chama Sundar, holding the flute, having a peacock feather in his hand, in his hair. One can practically see that uh, by engaging in devotional activities. So, but in order to be fixed on this transcendental platform, so Prabhupada is explaining a Sangha. So, one has to become actually detached. Detachment is important. Uh, becoming detached from this material world uh, by engaging in spiritual activities and trying to give up sense gratification, just like we are now this Chaturmas, four month, uh, that is during the rainy season, that is since long time it is going on, that the saintly persons and those who are following the Vedic literatures, the guidelines of the spiritual master, they follow Chaturmas. Uh, that means during the four month, then they will do some extra austerity. Mm. Usually previously, because of the rain, it was a little difficult to travel. Even now sometimes if you go to Bengal or South India or even in Western India, Mumbai side, then sometimes you cannot travel. And as we know, as we have heard, we have seen pictures also. Different trains, they get stuck in the water. They cannot move. So much water, so much rain, they have to cancel the flights. What to speak of going by car, not possible difficult situation 
So previously there were no airplanes, no trains, so they were just walking but, and or going by bullock cart or maybe by horse. But if there's so much rain, you cannot go ahead very long. So therefore they used to just stay in one place and they used to study the scriptures. They used to intensify their devotional practices, the chanting of the holy names. And the sannyasis, they used to be amongst themselves discussing the spiritual transcendental matter subject matter is explained here and then they were doing some austerity for example for four months so the minimum property is explained no spinach in the first month no yogurt in the second or third no milk in the third no uradal in the fourth that is the minimum but then his spiritual master bhakti siddhanta sastagu property gave some more rules to follow according to sanatana goswami from the hari bhakti vilas one should not take different things different more vegetables are explained uh, no eggplant, no tomatoes, no carrots, and so on. And then, for example, they used to not shave for four months. Or if not for four months, then only two months, and then two months not shaving. Or at least only shaving once a month. So some austerity is there. Not taking too much care of the body. We have to take care of the body, but the minimum. And then reducing the eating, the sleeping, as much as possible and then chanting more studying more serving the Lord more and in this way one becomes fixed on the transcendent platform and purified in consciousness because even for the sannyasis when they're going to preach in this material world then they have to meet their meeting householders and then so many materialistic persons and then sometimes they will be invited and they're eating outside with the householders who may not be fully absorbed in spiritual activities because of social obligations and having family. So then a sort of some contamination may be there. But then by coming to the holy place and for four months being very strict uh, in simply engaging in spiritual activities and reducing the um, needs of the body, then one becomes purified. Uh, in consciousness, the consciousness becomes purified and then by spiritual strength one can advance more and then one will have the strength to again go out and preach for eight months. So that is since uh, practically time immemorial the great saints, they have followed that. Uh, and therefore Prabhupada and his spiritual master they also introduced to at least do the minimum. The, the more you do the better. But again here the main activity is to be always engaged in devotional service to the Lord. But doing some austerity is helpful. Because that is a tendency of the conditioned soul he wants to enjoy. Even then when he's a devotee, a sadaka, is engaging in spiritual activities, but then he still is looking for some enjoyment, some nice food to eat. And then sometimes, um, of course some recreation may be there and one has to know what is going in this world but then sometimes too much than uh, seeing the news of this world and uh, so therefore one has to try to follow this chaturmas as much as possible uh, some austerity has to be done and one has to try to increase one's absorption in spiritual activities uh, then it is possible to to come closer to the supreme personality of godhead uh, so that is also explained in the Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Uh, so by the mercy of the spiritual master, one will get the seed of devotional service. Brahmanda Brahmiti Kona Bhagavana Jeev Guru Krishna Prasadipai Bhakti Lata Beach. Uh, so the living entity has been wandering in this material world since time immemorial. But by good fortune he comes in contact with the spiritual master. Uh, and then he gets the seed of devotional service. That means he gets the understanding of spiritual activities to be performed. The mood of how to approach the Supreme Lord. That is actually the seed. Because by nature we all eternal servants of Krishna. And love for Krishna is there but it is dormant. It has to be revived. Uh, 
So that is possible by being in contact with the devotee of the Lord, as Prabhupada is explaining, and it is mentioned throughout the Vedic literatures. That is the first limb of devotional service. Uh, Guru Padashrai taking shelter of the spiritual master. And then he will teach us. He will give us this knowledge. He will give, up the, give us the proper mood by which we can approach the Supreme Lord. Uh, therefore, the intelligent person, he will take shelter of the spiritual master and he will follow his instructions. And by doing that, he can advance more and more. It is a gradual process that has been explained by the Acharyas as Rupa Goswami. First there is faith, Shraddha, one has faith in the process. And then is explaining one has to associate with the devotees, Sadhu Sangha. And then under the guidance, Bhajana Kriya, one is engaging in devotional activities. And then Anatani Vritti. Then the anatas, unwanted things in the heart, uh, they are destroyed. Material desires, uh, asat trishna, having thirst for material things. Uh, and then even though one is trying, one is not able to, to be steady. Ridai Dorbalyam, because the, the heart is not fixed, it is weak, Dorbalya. But by associating with the devotees who are strong, by cutting with the sword of knowledge, this attachment, then one can continue. But one has to guard also against offenses towards the holy names, towards the Vaishnavas, towards the holy abode of the Lord, towards the deities, even towards common man. Uh, one has to be very kind. One has to be compassionate. And want us to try to help others. Of course, first we have to help ourselves by properly adopting this process under the guidance of the spiritual master. But then we should also try to help others. And one now should be well versed in the Vedic literatures. Therefore, Prabhupada wanted every day the recitation of the Bhagavatam, Nityam Bhagavata Seva, every day in the morning we have to hear the Bhagavatam. And then we should read during the day, and then in the evening again we come together and hear. And this way we are fixed in knowledge. And then we have the proper understanding. Then we know the Siddhanta, the conclusion of the scriptures. And then we know how we can approach Krishna properly. How Krishna will reciprocate with us. Uh, rasa Tattva. So Rasa is there is a relationship with Krishna. Known as Bhakti Ras. A transcendental mellow very sweet, wonderful, pleasurable. By giving pleasure to Krishna, then there's a loving exchange there. The devotee has to learn this art of loving Krishna. The love is actually there in the heart. Love for Krishna. But it is in dormant form. It is not manifested. But by hearing from the spiritual master, by engaging in spiritual activities by praying to the Lord and slowly but surely the consciousness is purified and then everything is revealed slowly but surely and then automatically the love will be there when the consciousness is pure when the heart is pure then the love for Krishna will be there and then the loving exchange is there and that is known as Ras Transcendental mellow, loving exchange with Krishna, which is giving so much pleasure to Krishna and then to the devotee. Akila Rasamrita Murti, Krishna is the embodiment of all rasas. Uh, and Krishna is the ocean of transcendental pleasure, of this transcendental mellow, loving exchange with the devotees. He has a relationship with unlimited living entities and is able, able to reciprocate with unlimited living entities. Uh. <clears throat> Individually, so we have to try to establish our relationship with Krishna, which is already there, but it is dormant. It is not manifested, it is not revealed. 
But by engaging in spiritual activities under the guidance of the spiritual master, by the mercy of the spiritual master, and then especially by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, slowly but surely, everything is revealed. Uh. <clears throat> so after the anathas are cleared, and one is fixed, nishta, then it becomes easier in this devotional life. And one can uh, advance more quickly, one is more satisfied, and then one gets actually transcendental taste, ruchi, for chanting the only names, for worshipping the Lord, for uh, hearing about Krishna, speaking about Krishna, it becomes very pleasurable. Uh, and then one can easily give up this ruchi, this ras, this mellows, or this taste of this material world, which is very insignificant, very flickering, temporary. But only when you have a higher taste, you can give up this lower taste. As Krishna is explaining to Krishna, rasam up to kaunteya, or he's explaining, rasovajam rasopiyasva param drishtvani vatate, that only if you have a higher taste, then you can give up the lower taste. Vishaya vinevatante nirahasadena rasovajam rasopiyasva param drishtvani vatate. Um, we have to give pleasure to Krishna's senses. We have to engage all our senses in Krishna's service. We have to see the deities. We have to try to see Krishna everywhere. Then the eyes will be satisfied. We have to hear about Krishna, then the ears will be satisfied. The sense of hearing will be satisfied. We have to speak about Krishna. We have to take Krishna Prasad. Then the sense of taste will be satisfied. The tongue will be satisfied. We are, we are smelling the incense of the Krishna. And then we are embracing the devotees of the Lord. Ah. And in this way, when the, all these senses are engaged, uh, to give pleasure to Krishna's senses, then we can really be satisfied. And the mind has to be fixed on the lotus feet of the Lord. Savai mana Krishna padara and therefore we have to discuss these transcendental subject matters uh, that will strengthen the mind, that will help our consciousness to sharpen our intelligence so we make always the right decision to surrender to Krishna. Every moment we have the choice to either serve Krishna or to be engaged in such clarification. Uh, therefore we have to try our best to constantly be engaged in devotional activities and we have to pray to Krishna to give us sadha buddhi, the real transcendental intelligence by which we can then surrender to Krishna, engage everything in Krishna's service and we have to then give up this conception the false conception, the false ego, the material ego that I'm special even that can come to this uh, spiritual plan, I mean the the life of the sadhak also, thinking I'm a special devotee, I'm a temple president, or I'm this, I'm that. And then that may be, uh, then the ego may be there. So therefore we have to be careful and pray to Krishna to give us the transcendental intelligence by which we can give up any false conception. Sarvapadi vinirumaktam tatparatvela niyamanam Rishikesha, Rishikena, Sevanam, Bhakti, Ruchate. So that is Bhakti when all the senses are gi giving pleasure to Krishna's senses. And one one is giving all Upadi up. Uh, conception of I'm this person, I'm that. Um, uh, so of course, as Sadakas also sometimes you have to say that, oh yes, I'm such and such, my name is such and such and I'm in this position of president or head pujari or whatever. So we may have to say that, but we should not identify and always know that this is just also a temporary designation uh, while I'm serving in this world. But actually I'm not this body, I'm spiritual and I have to serve Krishna. I have to understand my real transcendental form in relationship to Krishna, my eternal form. <coughs> in Krishna Lila and in Go Lila. Whereas in this world it is temporary, whatever occupation we may have. In the next life, if you are not perfect, that may change. Most probably it will change. 
But the activity of serving to Krishna, that he will never change for the devotee. He will always serve Krishna. Internally in the realized situation, but then even externally. But there he may adopt different positions. And even sometimes the pure devotees are coming to this world again and again in order to preach. And then they have different situations. But they are not attached to this position. But they are attached to Krishna and there they have the real ego is there. I am Krishna's eternal servant. I am totally insignificant. So that is the real ego. Uh, so we have to try to come to that stage and understand our real position. And then engage everything in Krishna's seva. Our intelligence, our mind, our senses. And then very quickly we can advance and come to the highest stage. And then we can easily give up this material conception. And this tree of this material world. Which is very uh, intricate. And we cannot properly understand. And we also there is no need to try to figure out what is happening in this material world. Uh, but some understanding should be there and, and then we have to try to become free from this attachment to this world and, and, and its different conceptions which may be there and come to the real perception, conception, understanding of that we are simply the eternal servants of Krishna and we simply have to serve Krishna. A Krishna wants, not as we want, as Krishna wants. So, Krishna is speaking to Arjuna and actually speaking to us, to all the fallen conditioned souls, so they may be able, so we may be able to give up all attachment to this material world and to become uh, properly situated and engage in positive transcendental loving service. Hare Krishna. Any question? Hare Krishna? Yes. Yes. I mean to say, one is engaged in the full devotional service. What is the? One is engaged in the process of devotional service, different process actually, and does not seek that place actually. What will happen? Yes, if one is not seeking that place, uh, if one is engaged in even in devotional activities, but if one is not seeking the highest place, then he will not go there. Very simple. Then you will take birth again. Even without seeking? Yeah, if you are not seeking, you cannot go to Golok. You cannot go. But you have to seek. We have to think about Krishna in Golok. And then about Krishna's associates. As explained by Rupa Goswami in the Nectar of Instruction and Nectar of Devotion. He is explaining. Tannama Rupa Charitadi Sukirtanu Smitana Kramena Manasi Anyoja Tistan Braje Tadanuragi jana nogami kalam naret akalam ittupadesha seram saram what is this sad the essence of all advice then one should be constantly uh, trying to glorify Krishna Krishna's wonderful uh, qualities and pastimes and one has to think about this and then one has to follow the footsteps of the eternal associates of Krishna Braje situated in Braj those who have anurag deep love for Krishna one should follow them and also in one in the nectar of devotion he has explained seva sada garupena siddhu rupena chatrahi tad bhava lipsana karya braja lokana sarataha that our devotional service is twofold one is a sadaka practicing devotee I have to chant the holy names I have to worship the deities I have to serve my spiritual master I have to take prasadam I have to read the scriptures and so on so that is a sadaka as practicing devotee, that we have to do, but we have to follow our spiritual master, we have to follow Rupa Goswami. But then he's explaining Rupa Goswami, Siddha Rupina Chattrahi, then we have to try to come to the perfect platform of the soul <coughs> and try to see our actual relationship with Krishna, our transcendental relationship, which has nothing to do with this material body. With this body, you cannot go to the spiritual world. And this is not really fit, this body, to, uh, to engage in loving exchange with Krishna. 
Therefore, we have to come to the transcendental position. And even when we worship the deities, we chant many mantras to come to the transcendental position so that we can properly serve the Lord and have the proper transcendental exchange with Krishna. And then he's explaining Krishna smanam janam, Krishna smanam janam jasya nija prishtam samitam tatta kata rachascha so kuryad vrajam kuryad vrajam sada kuryad vasam braja sada kuryad vraja kuryad vasam braja sada we should always try to reside in braj if not physically then mentally and what we should do we should remember Krishna and Krishna's associates and discuss about their transcendental pastimes and loving exchange. So we have to do that. Uh, we have to remember Golok Bindavan and Krishna and the, the cowboys, the gopis, Mother Yashoda, Nanda Baba and their loving exchange. So that is going to that place and then actually seeking that out uh, and then trying to be absorbed in that. And then we can go there. If you're not doing that, if there's no internal cultivation and simply externally serving but not concerned about uh, our actual relationship with Krishna, then we have to take birth again. Unless we come to this actually internal cultivation, then we have to take birth again. But usually if you are sincere, then Krishna will help us and give the intelligence so that we make further progress so that we can actually then enter the spiritual realm. So, so we have to practice that internal cultivation, okay? Oh. Yeah, Hare Krishna. Yes. Yesterday I was reading a book, which was written whether you stay in a town or you do all the five points. Yes. Panch Mahatapunang, the five most important limbs of devotional service. Do you do this for if, if one of them is for then also you go to Gorantam or do you have to follow what you decide? Even if you follow one, if you can go to Golok. Uh, well, usually you see these are interchangeable and uh, interrelated. For example, when you chant the holy names. So even there, if you simply chant the only names, but you don't have some bandhagyan, if you don't have knowledge of the relationship with Krishna, then that will not do. Then you can change, chant for many years, even for millions of years. Bhojanma Koti, even Koti Janma is mentioned. But if you are, uh, if you are not actually uh, chanting with knowledge of your relationship with Krishna, if you are not finding out about Krishna, if you are not cultivating this, knowledge about Krishna and your relationship with Krishna then that is not sufficient simply to chant but we have to gain transcendent knowledge therefore we have to hear the Bhagavatam we have to hear about Krishna and we have to associate with the devotees alone it is not possible no I will just be alone uh, I just chant the holy names that is enough my guru chant told me to chant Hare Krishna but if you're just going somewhere in the forest just chanting Hare Krishna no association you will not be able to survive. I mean, you have to eat something also. And if you're not doing something, you will not get something to eat. And then, uh, so, and then usually you have to worship the deities also. If you're not worshipping the deities, it is difficult to realize that Krishna, Krishna, Nama, no different. If you're simply chanting Hare Krishna, nothing is there. In the beginning, you chant Hare Krishna, you don't see anything. You don't see Krishna, you don't see Krishna's associates. Therefore we have to see Krishna, the deity form. We have to hear about Krishna's associates. Who is there with Krishna? Lalita, Vishaka, Sudam, Sridam, and then uh, the cows, the calves. We have to hear about them and their names. And then by doing that, then we can chant properly, otherwise nothing is there in the chanting. And then it's like, you know, the Mayavadis, they're also chanting some of them, wanting to merge in the Absolute Truth, which has no form, the Brahma Jyoti. Chanting Hare Krishna, nothing is there. But you have to chant Hare Krishna, and ultimately we have to see Krishna, and Krishna's associates. So that is actually achieved by hearing about Krishna, by seeing Krishna, by serving Krishna, then eventually you'll be able to see 
while you're chanting also, some conception will be there. Sometimes you remember the deity. Sometimes you remember what you have heard. And then all the garbage is coming out that you have to kick out. But then you have to remember Krishna, Krishna's associates, Krishna's pastimes eventually. But you concentrate on the speaking, on the chanting and hearing. But then you have to pray and cry out to Guru, Goranga, Krishna. So they may be present. Then you can properly chant. And then you can properly advance. And then Dhamvas will be there. Even you can be anywhere. But if you're chanting nicely, and then you have hear, heard about Vrindavan Dham, and then you can feel the, the, the beautiful uh, presence of the Holy Dham, and then you can see Krishna. Bina Dham Seva, no Nam Seva. If you don't remember the Holy Dham, you cannot chant properly the Holy Names. If you don't, bring the, uh, chant, if you don't remember Vrindavan, then you cannot remember Krishna, because Krishna is in Vrindavan. So while chanting also, then you have to pray to the Spiritual Master, to Mahaprabhu, Navadip Dham, Vrindavan Dham, to Krishna, so that sometimes a little bit you can remember them. But then the pure devotees, they were always, they, they always remember Krishna. Especially when they are chanting, Krishna becomes manifest. They don't even have to think of Krishna, because Krishna becomes manifest. The associates become manifest, oh, that is high stage. In the beginning stage you have to pray that sometimes you may be able to remember Guru, Goranga, Krishna and the Holy Dham. And then sometimes some of the pastime, just a little bit something. And then you have to cry that it can increase. And year after year you should pray and you should look back, what am I actually doing some advancement? And after 10 years or 20 years, hopefully you have done some advancement. If not, then you should cry and cry and cry, so that before giving up the body, you can make a little advancement, so that in your next life you have a better situation. But there's no shortcut in spiritual life. Krishna is merciful, Guru is merciful, but you have to do something. You have to endeavor, and not just a little bit, very sincerely and seriously. From nothing, nothing comes. From nothing, nothing comes, even in this material world. Like the material people, they say there's a big bang theory. In the beginning was a big bang, and then material world was created. Beautiful things. But have you ever seen that? So many explosions are there, even terrorists throwing bombs. What is happening? People are dying, everything is destroyed. Sometimes they have to, even to, you know, there's some rock is there to make some tunnel or something. They have to throw a bomb, and then there's, you know, things are just destroyed. If this big bang is there, everything is destroyed. So, and then uh, from that nothing comes. So, but in order to have some result, you have to do something positive, uh, something constructive. Mm. And uh, so in spirit life, you have to endeavor very hard and seriously. And then there will be a result there. And the more you endeavor, the more the result will be there. But then we are, but it is not simply by our endeavor. But we need the mercy. So we have to beg for the mercy from the, from the spiritual master and Mahaprabhu and Krishna. Then by, the, by our effort and by the mercy of the Lord we can advance. We get a little, we do a little endeavor, we get a little mercy. By that mercy we can endeavor more. By our more endeavoring we get more mercy. By that more mercy we can endeavor better till we come to the platform where we get the supreme mercy that is then the revelation of our sorrow. But it takes time. Okay? Anything else? Kantra Chimara Bhagavad Gita ki. Sila Prabhupada ki.